Can you hear the music, Robert? Yes, I can. Oppenheimer is a visual masterpiece. I felt like this movie was really pushing the boundaries in so many different fields. So I wanted to see how we can do that with music as well. I have no preconceptions about the music for the film. Sometimes you have an idea for the soundscape of the world or the rhythm of it, and sometimes you don't. And in this case, all I had that I gave Ludwig was the idea of basing the score on the violin. There's so much in the performance of the violin. In seconds, you can go from something beautiful to something completely horrifying. There's a neurosis to the sound in a way that I think fits the highly strong intellect and emotion of Robert Oppenheimer very well. We wanted a handmade feel using real instruments, but also synthesizers that Ludwig can manipulate so expertly. There's a scene there in the beginning when they're visiting us almost for the first time. The way I was thinking about the music there was almost to think you're on a different planet. And that's also why the musical tonality changes from like this organic palette to more of an alienistic score. I used a lot of synthesizers, but the heartbeat of the music is all organic. Chris called me one day, he's like, hey, can you write a 30 minute courtroom trial piece of music? And I was like, okay. <laughs> Chris had an idea of scoring that scene like an action movie. And I thought that was something very interesting. We would take his experiments and we would put them to picture and edit them and, and try different things and show it to Ludwig and he would go and bring more things to the table. One of the things that was really inspiring with this was when Chris invited me to come to see visual effects that they were creating. I think what they did sparked a lot of ideas in my head. And that's where the idea for the montage came from. I had this pattern and it's played by the violins, but I wanted it to go faster and faster and faster and faster the whole time. But then the tricky point was how can we record this live? They go from a tempo change from 180 BPM to 350 BPM within two minutes. It would have been easy to just have stopped every two bars. We did that too, but you don't get that magical flow that you only get with live musicians playing together in a room where there's 40 people doing their own tempo adjustments in their heads. So you can still hear like some friction and that energy really affects the recording. We worked on this piece for a week every day and tried to play it over and over and over again. And the results are marvelous. They were also excited about it, grateful and like, oh, I can't believe we did this. I think Ludwig's work on the film really achieves an enormous amount of the effect of drawing the audience into the emotional dilemmas of the characters. I think he's really put together a very remarkable score.